fairness, Molly, tell us the tale of five evil rubber duckies. There were once five evil duckies living on a pond full of mischief and ready to wreak havoc upon the shores. When they would go upon the shore, they would seek out each and every little rivulet of water that tracked through the small, peaceful village on the middle of the moors. One day they found a little girl who was playing in the rivulet, and they surrounded her and began to threaten to do horrible evil ducky things to her. The little girl began to cry. Then the evil duckies felt sad because they liked to be evil, but little girls crying, it was just too sad. And the duckies, which were not rubber yet, still thought, oh, our mission in life is to be evil and to do things that are evil and fun. So they looked at the crying child and they thought, her tears will add to the rivulets, and that would be good. So cry some more and give us more water. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the ranch. <laughs> the evil sorceress thought, I thought I rubberized those ducks. <laughs> and so she cast her hands in gestures hypnotic yes. and across the moor and made cackly sounds. And across the moor. Pay attention to the duck. Across the moor, suddenly, the ducks became rubber. And the little girl looked up and went, the ducks are rubber. And she was so startled that she stopped crying. And she looked at them and went, oh, they're not evil. They're so cute. All of them and each one is different. Wow, they look like this heavy metal band I used to see on television. <laughs> no joke. I'm going to take them home and keep them and hug them and squeeze them. <laughs> and which she did. Take, took them home showed them to her parents, who thought they were some of the strangest rubber ducks they had ever seen, but then decided that they were okay. So they let her alone with them. And over the night, there was a horrendous squeaking and squealing. As the ducks pounced on her and decided to have her for ducky dinner, <laughs> they said, <laughs> We are the evil duckies and we eat. And the evil duckies didn't want to eat them, but they said they, said they would. And they told the girl, We were going to go out to your town and find the nice water. And when we get there, we will go different ways. And each of us will find a new victim. <laughs> so let's so, the little girl tried to prevent them from doing more evil by shutting them up in a little box, but they broke free quietly when she was asleep that night. Then, they bounced, they bounced down the stairs from her room because they're got piece of rubber and so they could bounce down. And they bounced to the front door and discovered that rubber duckies can't get the front door open. <laughs> so they were like, now what do we do? Well, they were making all this racket trying to get out the door that they couldn't open. The family cat woke up. <laughs> and the cat chased the duckies around and around and around, making such a racket that woke up little girl's parents. The little girl's father, however, being a father had the answer to all problems, and he knew that he could fix the problem of these, these rabid rubber duckies with what? With duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> Having taped together the five evil rubber duckies, the squeaking, constantly squeaking and peeping sound echoing through the house was driving the parents mad. So they got out of low torch. <laughs> <laughs> the end! Now, do we have, perhaps, 
a moral that, that our children might learn from the tale of the five evil rubber duckies? Do you see a duck? Don't Why, an duct tape is like the force. It's got a dark side and a light side, and, and it, it binds, binds the, the duckies together. together. <laughs> <laughs>